Hi everyone. Uh, it's an interesting one for me today because actually it's concerning. It concerns me that I have to talk about an issue like this. But it's best to sometimes, isn't it, talk about things that uh, are not good for the body, not good physically, mentally, but for the overall body of the church. It's interesting, uh, last week I've heard of some people talking about people within the body behind their backs. That's sad. It's a shame, isn't it, that we've got to do that and it's not right. See, in uh, Matthew eighteen fifteen, if another believer sins against you, go privately and point out the offence. If the other person listens and confesses it, you have won that person back. But if you're unsuccessful, take one or two others with you and go back again so everything you say may be confirmed by two or three witnesses. If the person still refuses to listen, take your case to the church. And if she or won't accept the church's decision, treat that person as a pagan or a corrupt tax collector. Now look, I'm not talking about on one side things that by law we have to report uh, safeguarding issues terrorism slavery uh, actual criminal activity it's where someone sinned against someone with a church and i'm also not saying that we've got to have a kangaroo court set up oh we're going to uh, put out across the church of what's going on that's an extreme but the point is that uh, you know if you come to me because you've got an issue with someone else, the first thing I'm going to tell you is, right, you need to go and speak to that person. And uh, if they won't do that, it can't be that important, can it? It can't be that serious if they cannot go up in brotherly love to that other person and say, that really upset me you saying or doing that in that manner or I wish we hadn't have changed this or I don't like what the plans are for the church or something smaller you know the way the home group's going or um, just the way that you're dismissive of people's ideas whatever it might be you should be able to go up to that person now there might be a time before that whereas you can't because maybe you have needs of your own that you cannot face uh, people on your own so someone could go along with you and I'd go alongside you to do that, but I'm not going to do the talking. It's still got to be you that brings out the reasons that you have an issue, that you feel that person has some, done something against you. And then I'm there as an arbiter or maybe some sort of clue. But the point is, it's got to be you. And if you don't do that, what happens? You've got it inside of you, you're filled up. You haven't got to let it out. So instead, some people will gossip, talk behind people's backs. That doesn't do the body any good at all. Go to them, try and get it resolved, get the issue sorted. You might learn something, a reason. I, I'm aware of times where people have um, uh, given me info, duff information about something and we found out later that they got the whole idea wrong or they may have a f reason that's affecting their normal activities that's personal to them they may not even want to fully tell you they could just say I'm sorry I've been unwell or I've got p personal pressures that I can't tell you about but they are really driving me down and that might be where I've acted that way you don't know but you've got to step out and you've got to be the one to speak to them to bring it out in the open. If So if you came to me and said, I've got a problem with X because they're doing this, I'll say, right, go to them. Go and say it. Well, no, I can't do that. I would then be actually challenging you as to why not. If there was an actual, proper, fully good, compass mentis reason to do that, then I would go alongside you while you did it. But you've got to take that step yourself and learn and be. It's a hard one, folks. If you want to talk to me more about this, I'm happy to do so. But let's cut out talking behind people's backs. Talk to their faces. Most people will welcome good, honest feedback and to be challenged, iron sharpens iron. Tell me I'm doing something wrong, we'll discuss it. Um, 
I remember in Wales when I was doing the ministry, I had a team out there, the two people that were supporting me. Only one had to stay in the room at the time. And I was doing uh, sozo after sozo after sozo. God blessed me with energy and being able to do this one after the other. And they were allowed to swap in and out. At the end of, towards the end of the weekend, uh, they'd often stayed in as a third. They didn't need to. And they challenged me because um, I hadn't made sure they had cups of tea and breaks. We'd had lunches and things. And I said, you know, you're 100% right. I didn't make you go. But I want you to remember that you never had to stay. You have the responsibility. You knew you could leave the room when you were not doing my second. So there was a joint reason, an issue. I'd learned from it, but they also had to learn that they had the freedom to leave that room and get themselves an extra cup of tea, have a bit of a break, a chill, a walk or whatever. We both learned from that, all because those two people spoke to me about an issue. And we resolved it so much easier, so much better. Go and resolve something with someone now rather than talking behind their back. Bless you.